So we know that hypertension or high blood pressure is a major public health problem globally. Um, although we have a lot of cheap, um, effective treatments available that reduce cardiovascular events, only about a third of those who take that, who are on treatment for hypertension are actually reaching their blood pressure targets. And so there's a lot of efficacy left on the table and we could prevent, prevent a lot more heart attacks and strokes if we actually got people reaching their blood pressure targets. So the premise behind this study was to try and find a better way to use what drugs we already have to try and get better control of blood pressure globally. Um, this was a, a randomised controlled trial that was conducted in Sri Lanka in 11 urban outpatient clinics, hypertension clinics um, in that country. Um, we used a triple half strength blood pressure lowering um, combination. We used telmosartan 20 milligrams, amylodipine 2.5 milligrams and chlorthalidone 12.5 milligrams. However, the, the components of the triple pill actually is probably not as important as the concept of combining multiple low doses together. You probably get the same effect using different drugs in different combinations. Most importantly, we just chose drugs that we knew were effective, that had been proven to reduce heart attacks and strokes, um, and that were cheap and generic and, and easily available. So we conducted this 700 patient randomised control trial in Sri Lanka. It was an open label study, deliberately so. It was a pragmatic study aiming to show uh, effectiveness of this kind of concept in a real world setting. Uh, so obviously uh, there are some limitations to open label studies. So we did the usual um, things of making sure that we had objective measures of our, our primary outcome, which was blood pressure. We made sure that we um, kept the follow up visits the same in both arms and those kind of standard things as well. We found at six months, which was our primary outcome, that uh, in the usual care arm, 55% of patients were uh, achieving blood pressure targets and usual care was deliberately, we didn't interfere in any way with usual care. So we left it up to the physicians locally to treat them how they wanted to. But in the triple pill arm, we found that 70% of patients were re reaching their uh, target blood pressure, which was a significant difference and, and obviously a, a, a tremendously um, exciting result as well. Well, funnily enough, uh, we did uh, expect that the patients in usual care would probably receive better than usual care because they knew they were in a trial and the physicians knew they were in a trial. Um, but we still only got to 55% in the usual care arm, which is still comparable with a lot of um, higher income countries around the world who only have 55% control rates. But maybe even more surprisingly in the active arm, we had the option for the physicians to up titrate to a double dose version of the triple pill um, and yet very few did, and despite the fact that only 70% were at target. So there's still a little bit of an interesting amount of inertia perhaps to up titrating treatment, um, even though patients aren't quite um, at their target blood pressure. So even though we got a significant result, it was still only 70%, and we'd be interested in exploring that a little bit further and seeing why, pa why the physicians didn't use that up titration option. At the moment, guidelines are moving slowly towards recommending starting treatment with combination therapy. And the, the premise behind that is, uh, firstly, combination therapy is easier for patients to take because it's, it's um, got multiple components in one pill. But also, most of the efficacy of blood pressure lowering drugs, drugs happens in the first half of the dose, whereas most of the side effects happen in the second half of the dose. So by combining multiple low dose pills together in one pill, we can make it a lot easier for patients to take their pills, we can get better efficacy and actually no further side effects. And our trial actually showed that the pill was very safe as well. So although guidelines are moving slowly, they're still not quite recommending starting combination therapy in everyone with high blood pressure. And we would suggest that our trial would push that envelope a little bit further and say, go straight for multi low dose combination therapy for initial treatment of hypertension. For the TRIUMPH study specifically, we're now going to do a process evaluation to find out what the physicians and the patients actually thought about the, the blood pressure lowering um, tablets that we offered. And anecdotally, they, they really um, appreciated them, particularly because they, they worked. Um, we're also going to do a cost effectiveness evaluation because that's obviously important for any implementation is, is it a cost effective solution and that will be coming out in due course. And then I think the next bigger piece of research is um, implementation and scale up, um, getting it out there in a broader setting, not just a clinical trial setting and that's something that we'll be working on in the next few years.